YouTube FTW here bringing you another Cinema 4D tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use a cloner object and an emitter. Alright, first thing we want to do is we want to go up to our little light area and add a floor. Right click on your floor, dynamics tag, and add a dynamics body. And then we would want to grab us a shape. You can use any shape, uh, something you modeled, whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to select a sphere I'm going to change the radius to around 50 I'm going to add my segments to 30 and, uh, we're going to make sure our sphere is selected go to MoGraph and grab a cloner and then grab our sphere and make it a child of the cloner select on the cloner and change the count to 1 that should be good. And then we're gonna. What we want to do is uh, grab an emitter over here. Grab our cloner, make it a child of our emitter. Select on our emitter and select Show Objects. And then we want to go back to our sphere, and we're gonna right click, Dynamics tag, Dynamics body. And what that does, the Dynamics body makes those uh, our spheres and our floor a solid object. Okay, and then uh, let's go. I got my timeline set to 200 frames, which will let it play out a little bit better. And then uh, let's go back to zero on our timeline. Grab our emitter and spin this around a little bit. Grab our rotation tool, hold shift, and spin this around to negative 90 degrees. There we go. And then select the regular movement tool and we'll raise this up get back to the scene we want now if we hit play on the timeline you will notice our spheres come down and they bounce off our solid floor as they are solid objects now with the dynamics tag you can add uh, whatever materials you want to your floor let's, uh, let's just keep it like that add that to our floor and our spheres. You can add uh, any kind of lighting you want. Uh, let's see, I'm going to just add a, let's add a regular light. Let's get on to shadow and turn shadow maps on. And let's raise this light up like so. Now if we render this out you see it creates little shadows and you can uh, mess with anything you want here change the color Let's, uh, use a blue color add a little soft reflection around 10 add a fresnel make that around 10 as well Let's just add that to our spheres. Just adds a different look. But it's pretty simple to do. I mean, you can use this with any objects, as I said. You just use the object in your cloner. And if you go, you know, it just pretty much plays out just as you see it. And I hope that helped out anybody that was asking about this tutorial or asking about how to do this little simple effect. Uh, it's pretty nifty. You can do all kinds of little tricks with it. And if this tutorial helped out, please uh, leave a comment below. Give this video a like. Uh, uh, maybe even subscribe to my channel for future tutorials. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching.